So I want to preface this by explaining that I am now a card-carrying member of the Libertarian Party. And I am, uh, to a certain degree, a proud member of the Libertarian Party. I'm proud and excited to be Libertarian. But I just want to say that the old guard over there, the people running that party and the people that have been running it for the past five years or so, are truly a pathetic and sorry excuse for a political party. Now, it's funny because, you know, when you first sign up for the Libertarian Party and become a member, they send you a packet and they introduce you to their philosophy in the Libertarian ways. And the main thing that they want you to know, and I know this because I saw it on the front of the packet, is that all rights are important especially gay rights. Yes, that's that's what they decide to include on their introduction packet, okay? Um, they want you to buy a gay pin with a rainbow flag, and they want us to really, really care about gay rights. The gay lobby, okay? The gay lobby, the LGBTQSWY, is destroying this fucking country. They don't give a shit about rights as a whole. There's plenty of gays that are libertarians that care about people's rights, but as a whole, they don't care about your rights. You know who tends to care about rights as groups? Straight white fathers. Yeah, straight white fathers really care about, you know, the Bill of Rights, individual liberties. You know who else? Uh, Christians and Catholics. Yeah, Christians and Catholics. So the Libertarian Party, knowing this, Okay, And also, guys, the gays have won, okay? They've arrived. They're there. I went to the Capitol a couple weeks ago, and the rainbow flag is flying from the Capitol in California. I don't know who the Libertarian Party thinks they're fighting for at this point. They've arrived, and they've gone even further than that, okay? It's got to the point where it's not just okay to be gay, but it's good to be gay, and it's encouraged to be gay. It's encouraged to be gay, even more so than it's actually encouraged to be a father or to have a normal family. Huh. Strange. So the Libertarian Party still is full of SJWs, but the reason I got involved and signed up is because, one, I realized how retarded they are, and thought it would be fun to uh, be involved in this takeover. And two, I do believe that the Libertarian Party is a great vehicle for achieving freedom if we can take it over. And yes, I do mean take it over. There's a wonderful caucus within the party called the Mises Caucus. And they actually care about the things that normal, freedom-loving people care about. You know, things such as the Bill of Rights, uh, lockdowns, um, health tyranny, uh, the restriction of arms, uh, the importance of family, all things that all good freedom-loving Americans should care about and that the Libertarian Party doesn't really give a shit about <laughs> as a whole right now, which is why they need to be replaced because they're pathetic and sorry excuses for Libertarians who are just going to blow the social justice warrior horns, you know, and just, just promote social SJW bullshit. Cause really at the top of the party, it's actually run by people that are socially extremely left. Um, and probably personally have very, uh, gay leanings. And, uh, frankly, I think are also probably a bunch of drug addicts. And so, you know, they promote this culture and lifestyle that's free spirit um, very, very anti-family and um, very pro-equality. You know, they came out in support of BLM. And even as BLM is quite literally burning down their cities, 
some of the biggest violations of individual rights I've ever seen. I mean, burning down people's properties and cities, threatening people, intimidating people in the streets. Even as this is happening, the Libertarian Party is still justifying their support of BLM. Pathetic, guys. It's pathetic. They're a joke. They're a complete joke. So I encourage you, if you love freedom, join the Mises Caucus of the Libertarian Party and help to get um, get involved in the Libertarian Party on a local level. Help to get involved on a local level because that's where it's all going to happen. That's what it's all about, local politics. Anyways, just wanted to say that the first thing the Libertarian Party wants you to know when you sign up is not that they're going to fight to uh, stop these unprecedented violations of your individual rights, like locking you in your homes, trying to force vaccinate people. Yes, they are doing that. Lying to you straight up and implementing a health crisis that really isn't real for the most part. Shutting down your businesses. Um, forcing you to wear muzzles on your face, muzzling your children, f- telling you how close you can be to other human beings. This is psychopathic tyranny, guys. But the first thing the Libertarian Party wants you to know about is they're with the gays. They're really with the gays, you know? That's why you guys are going to be replaced, Libertarian Party. I'm talking to you now. You're gone. You're done. You're going to be replaced because you're pathetic. You haven't you haven't been diligent in what you have. And that's a shame. But you have to go. Peace out, guys. Uh, check out the Libertarian Party. Check out the Mises Caucus, the Libertarian Party. Uh, Dave Smith and um, Tom Woods, all great guys. And um, they're kind of the backbone of this thing. So uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. And uh, we'll talk soon.